Okay, let's talk about getting QuickBooks Desktop up and running. And if you're on Windows, this is going to be a lot easier. But I'm on Mac. So, um, but that's okay. If you're on Linux, you can do the same things I'm going to show you how to do. But um, if you're on Windows, skip ahead to the parts that are going to be relevant for you. Uh, but stay here right now because what I'm going to talk about is this NFR stuff. So it's, you can get, um, as a QuickBooks developer, you can get an NFR, not for a resale copy of QuickBooks Desktop, really any one you want. You can get point of sale system, you can get the UK, Canadian versions, uh, Premier, Enterprise, Pro. Y you know, the QuickBooks Web Connector works pretty much, pretty much seamless across them. Different versions, um, like if your uh, user base is going to be using the uh, manufacturing one and then get that one, um, there'll be probably a couple of um, GUI things in there, but the, the uh, different GUI things in the different versions, okay? Um, but as it goes for the integration, you don't have to worry about it too much. This, the basic um, requests and responses are going to work across all of these, but um, you know, Enterprise or Pro, generally speaking, is what your customers are going to be using. So over here, you got to get an individual developer account if you don't have one. See, I'm logged in over here. And you go to this page, slash NFR, I'll have that link in the show notes, and call them up. Now, I paid for this back in 2013. It was like 300 bucks. Uh, my business paid for it. Now, I don't know if you still need to do that because when I called, I got a 2018 copy uh, just for free. And uh, QuickBase, which is a uh, company, uh, they're a subs subsidiary of Intuit, is handling all this. And I, I don't know if you just get one for free or you got to pay a little bit. Your business, of course, should pay. And... Uh, I'm not quite sure because I'd already paid. Maybe they gave me a free one. I don't know, but you got to call them up. This is how you can get a not for resale copy if you don't have one already. Uh, if you do have one, great. Then you don't need to go through this step, but I do. So um, that's this step here. Now, if you're a Windows user, you can go ahead and skip ahead. I'm going to start going into some things specific for having a different operating system besides Windows.